What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total well, Let's Play as the Danish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we have a marauding loose stack of Mughal troops behind our lines and we have an opportunity to utterly destroy them. So let us do so. Blow a huge hole in their lines to the west coast. We've kept no one to stop us from moving on and attacking in the next has become significantly unbalanced. And now we will see the Danish troops surge through the countryside. But that still doesn't mean you don't take advantage of opportunities like this to massacre some troops. The enemy will try to smash their way in with Let them. Oh, I should have managed my reinforcements because I will get some immediately now. So they have one howitzer unit, so they're not going to actually be able to do much damage. It's just going to be a case of holding them off for for a while. Because look at all the, these are our reserves back here. This is what we've got left over. Let's just drop a unit of marines here, because I seem to have stolen that unit. Good god, we're right behind them. I mean... Run away. Run away. A regiment of horse might be useful. Stop. Stay still, hope they don't notice you, and then you can run in and kill those mortars. Oh, they're hidden. Perfect. Got some household cavalry on this flank. So let's get our howitzers to focus on this regiment of Gurkhas. Switch to Karka shot to try and get some mass killings. Oh wow, they have actually managed to do a good chunk of damage to the section of the wall. So let's run our troops in position. Our Marines gonna stay here as bait. I would like them to make a breach to be honest. Even though I could run and kill the Gurkhas right now, I would like a breach. So let's put some reserves behind our lines here. Put new chaps up on the walls here. I may have to sacrifice you completely. Good. For a minute I thought there might have been some... Okay, let's charge that household cavalry unit in. Sorry, Marines. You must bravely hold the line. Turn fire will off for them. My house of cavalry is gonna have a grand old time. One more volley will do it. So they, sh they might actually survive. Well, some of them. The unit itself won't be destroyed. Here it comes. Ready. Go, go, gadget cavalry. 
as we scythe through the Mughal troops. Oh no, they're not actually going to commit their charging because they're only Kizabishi cavalry. Ah, they are! Right when I said they weren't! Let's put them there. Fire will arm. immediately get out of square formation oh dang it fire will off hey the gurk is routed Haha, <laughs> these skirmishing horsemen. Hey, my marines actually repulsed an attack from dervishes. Going lost. Gatehouse. What? You sneaky little buggers. Ah, they're actually attacking up lots of walls. We lost our cavalry, it snuck around the rear. There we go, we took the gatehouse back. So we attack them on both flanks. Come on, men. It's an actual unit of Gurkhas right there. Okay, no, I'm not going to have eight light hussars come in. Let's switch them to round shot and get them to start plinking at that cavalry even though it's out of range. We're slaughtering them. Oh no, apparently they're winning! Overwhelm them. 46 more Howard's cavalry? Nope. Let's charge down these camel gunners. Let's turn firewall off. And then a back arm. You should be able to fire at them. Good stuff. Now they are. That's right, Hindu musketeers. Get out of here. Camel gunners did most to kill a big chunk of my cavalry, man. Carcass shot the Hindu musketeers. <laughs> Gurkhas are coming back in again. Put the marines down here if you don't want to do anything. Ok, 
good. We managed to mob mob these infantrymen. And as all of them are in these walls, kill them all! March the cavalry, this infantry in just to irritate these cavalry. Or actually, bring them over here to irritate these pikes. No, no, they've had enough of that. The bowmen should rout soon. They've been wavering for a while. Let's change targets. Pour more fire into these cateers. Bugged out, so they won't actually. Ah, oh, it's because of him. This guy stoically manning his gun. Most everyone else is routing, so I'm going to speed up time a little bit. Oh no, not everyone. There's a couple more units moving in. Although I doubt they're going to be here for very long. So you guys going to assault the breach? Yeah, they've lost a few of their friends outside the front door. Look at this. Oh, there's one of the guns. Shaken. Wavering. Routing. I mean, go for this pike unit then, if they're going to stand here. Like a lemon. Because you might be able to get some decent carcass shots off. Fire at will on, pour fire into these bowmen. <laughs> the bowmen are routing and they're going to die up on their slope. Let's push my infantry out. doing stuff. I want these guys to man the cannons really. Because they have targets to their front. Let's push the cavalry up. Oh, were they just waiting for me to move, were they? Let's run them up to the top of the cliff. I mean, they are still in range. Hey, it's the first Kalmar!
the infantry have charged in. I know covering to pikes is, isn't a good idea, but it's all about breaking their morale. If you can do it quickly enough, pikes don't matter. Good stuff. Volley fire into the general's bodyguard. Which form square? I don't know. Actually. Let's get the cavalry in. Get the first Kalmar in as well. Drop power to shells and the Zamandari horsemen. These light cavalry are going to have a bit of a shock. Come on, first Kalmar. In you go, son. This is killing elephants is what we're doing. I'm probably not going to kill the general. I'm probably going to... Ah. Because I thought he was going to rout before that happened. Ooh, that's a lot of men lost. Oh, and it's time to move some forces westward. You're flanking around. So they're rebalancing their troops back over to the west, knowing the gap that's been caused. Let's let those troops raid away. That's perfectly fine. Up at Katak, that's got to be more of an more of an anchor. We're not going to we're not going to um, push up any further on that flank. I'll stretch them out too far. That has not yet been developed. The French took over one of the American territories. I think it was Boston they had. Uh, let's hop back over to India. So. Let's get Conrad into here. Well, actually, there's a series of battles that would be handy to fight. So let's take the garrison. Hit. Cow. So that's defeated them. Let's group the, inf group the infantry together to maintain experience and try to get them back to the capital. So one nice battle would be to hit these guys and push these stacks back. And another one would be to take uh, Earnhardt, which has... Have they got... Have they got any special infantry? You do not. Ooh, it's only one more turn till quick climb is researched, but I want to take this chap here and then hit Mohinder to drive them back. Let's do it. Mughal territory. Right, right now, we're at, we're at a bit of an attritional stage. And we, need, we need to take the fight to them, otherwise they might just start... Well... They won't outproduce us. We have too many troops now for them to properly out. Is that they might just start to attrit us quite badly? Okay, so get you guys up onto this hill rapidly. Let's set up another gun up on this hill. Let's deploy our strong 
infantry corps. Three out on this flank. Two on the other flank, because I'm more concerned about my right. Put my strong cavalry out there. My weak cavalry can stay in the centre. How it says move up with the line with my general. there so they don't get interfered with through the trees so the shells don't hit any trees let's bring these flank companies in to be honest I might actually run my center in knock out their artillery because they're not no they don't seem overly bothered about getting them into a good position Go. So the first shots have started being fired at their guns. So artillery is a bit of a weird one in this game. Um, they seem to have against against infantry shot. They seem to have like hit points. So they'll be fine for ages and ages and ages, and then they'll all suddenly die. Bring my cavalry in. So we need them to crest this hill sent for our centre to be successful. So go for the levee, because our infantry will be targeting desert warriors. And limber our howitzers. Drawing them in in a cavalry battle. Which is good. We've got our, it's our heavy cavalry and our cuirassiers anyway. So it's not like I'm concerned about their ability to stick it out in a fight. These guys are just booking it. Cavalry is buying them time to escape. That's not so bad. We're attacking them from the good direction, so we can immediately push after them if we need to. That and our casualty exchange ratio is going to be massive. Avoid the dervishes. Oh no, go straight into them then, because it looks like their army is starting to... Starting to reform. Let's take this position on the ridge. So you're going after them by the looks of it. Form a late square. Charge those guys into the Sikh warriors. Oh dear, my Sikh are going to have a word to say with you about that. Okay, 
where's our weak cavalry? Let's bring you over here. with breaking off from those dervishes really. Let's so bring my heavy cavalry through here then into the back of these sea quarriers. Because even though we are winning, they are good melee infantry so you don't want to give them too much leeway. even a weak unit will do wonders for morale. Let's advance some infantry towards the elephants. Charge them into the levee as well. Oh, that's right, get your bows and arrows out. I'm sure skirmishing is going to be a great idea. hasn't fired a shot. No, it's because they're not they've not been engaging anything. None of our artillery has. No not didn't turn firewall off. So we wanna focus on those elephants. much as possible. And these poor musketeers must be getting shot from absolutely everywhere. Got to target the general. Otherwise bad things will happen. Bad things did happen to them. Good stuff. Absolutely continue. Let's turn off all the artillery fire. So you go after the musketeers. The levy I don't care about. Well, the levy, I'll send the general off. Actually, no, both of you go after the musketeers. The levy I don't care about. The levy I don't care about. The general I don't really care about. Oh, when the levy's the only thing on the board to hit. Or anything on the map, sorry. Even if they are going to escape, because they've done the old retreat in every direction trick. Well, we got them. Damn right. Decisive victory. So we've pushed them away to the north. Sorry. Good. Lost almost 3,000 men. And you're actually in really good condition. You're replenishing 
Frederick Carlson is replenishing. Let's build whatever needs to be built here. Gunner Ordnance Board. Very good idea. Let's push in from the east. You're still replenishing. You don't want to really attack them. I mean, you could, but I may as well hold on to Kutak. Let's bring a church school there. Let's build a craft workshop. I don't mind investing a load of money in India because it's going to absolutely pay off in spades. I mean, it's certainly going to pay itself back. So this army doesn't need to go back to Satara. We can move out because Satara... Ah, they're, they don't really like... The populace don't like us that much. Um, you'll be okay for a turn. You write your letter of complaints. Let's take this extremely elite army to go hit this cluster of stacks. Well, to be honest, I might actually auto-resolve that. It's a bunch of nothing. Stab. Dead. 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 Too bad a bunch of my fusiliers got killed. Let's make sure the experience does not die with them. Can't recruit infantry to support. Can I job jog a cavalry back? No, it doesn't make a difference. I want dragoons for that work, really. So let's push up. I'm happy with you on the bridge still. I'm happy with you in the fort still. To be honest, it looks like these heavy howitzers are going to go, end up going to support the garrison force. Sorry, my phone's lighting up like a Christmas tree, but it's just a PayPal scam. Sweet, things are going really well. Ah, oh, mortars, nope. Okay, let's hit in turn. So similar to the what's happening in the US, uh, they are losing troops faster realistically than they're actually presenting them. You want peace? Um, I think, I think yes, because I can't. Off the top of my head, I can't think of doing anything specific. Although I'm not going to give you tech. I'm not going to give you tech for it. I think better to start these in the, in the in the Darth Mod launcher to kick these campaigns off under custom rather than Darth Mod early, Darth Mod late, because the AI seems to be a lot more interesting. Ooh, okay, you're going to retreat. Yep, pull back. So the reason why I retreated so heavily then was because that army to the east near Kutak had actually flanked around the territory and was starting to head south. So I was already thinking about pulling that unit back anyway to try and get them in an advantageous position Rising to force this stack this back. Region, as the lower orders have become too unhappy. See, they broke some stuff and now they're happy. The by lowering... Let's upgrade the port. Let's build a sloop. Let's check out my ministers. Just to make sure. God, God, I've got some good ministers here. Let's try to go for a better one than a four star. Yes, five star. Mo income, almost 30 grand. Yeah, so I'll send Hartman to go hit this annoying little stack. Yeah, now they're just a little raiding army. So you replenish, you replenish. To be honest, I could just go up and hit Calcutta. I could send them to kill the leftovers here. Set them to replenish and lay siege to Calcutta. Then just hold. They move up to secure the position here. Let's repair the farms. Build the church school. 
So I definitely want to start converting people. Okay, well, one of you, one of these armies, most likely you, that's Dagestan. What's Dagestan doing down here in Nerun? Persia, Russia, Georgia, Mughal Empire. Not a war with me. Might try to buy the territory off of them. Because they're... So is I'm allied with them as well. So who would they pick? Me or Dagestan? I don't know. So I think... Send some cavalry to scout. Medabad, weak garrison. So let's move them. Move this elite force up to go secure our Medabad. Probably going to move you up. To hit them back. I mean, yeah, that's just... Can enter a planet. I can now abandon this fort. There are currently no I know! Let's push them up to this brook. Push them up to the bridge. And let's get ready to effectively build a new army. So let's take your most elite troops, please. These two companies. Uh, oh, if I group them together and do that. It's another full two chevron company. Cluster the mercenaries together. I just think there's not going to be too much I can do about the others. Well, I mean, if they have one chevron, that's still good. Uh, that. That's two more full units. They're all still replenishing. Got some units here, but I don't want to use them yet. Let's go for some East India Company cavalry, or well, two of those, and then let's get a unit of heavy cavalry. Then let's get some... I mean, Marines seem to be the only, <laughs> like, elite troop I can actually build out here. I should probably do some foot artillery. Well, I've only got seven slots. Four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Yeah, the rioting's been quelled. The elections happened. It's fun ciliaries for lots of my attacking generals. Let's repair you and repair you. Yeah. Let's take Ahmednagar. They got a port, but it means we'll have to be offensive. But lots of their troops are attrited anyway. But looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the Assault of Ahmadnagar. Cheers everyone.